Hi, happy Monday. So today you just have me, Eric's at work. I've got about 25 minutes, 30 minutes or so before I have to go pick kids up from school. And I thought I would do a quick project. Uh, yesterday, Lauren had asked to see a project with the ink or on a t-shirt. You can do baby clothes. I'm gonna do a t-shirt for Sophia today, but the ink you can use for um, pillows, tea towels, t-shirts, anything that you want to heat set and then become permanent and washable. So I was going through the laundry. I found Sophia is kind of a mess like me. So I found one of her shirts and she's got ketchup and mustard all over it. <laughs> I tried my best to get it out, but it's still there. So I'm gonna try to repurpose this into a Valentine's Day shirt for her and it'll be a surprise. She doesn't know I'm doing it. So I'm actually gonna use the transfer that I did yesterday with our projects, the, um, the Club Couture Valentine's Day project. So I'm gonna use this to not only show that the transfers are reusable, but then to show a different type of surface. So a couple things that I've got laying out, I've got all my inks that I'm gonna use. Now, it's not a white t-shirt, it's kinda of like a off purpley shirt. So I'm gonna experiment with a few different colors. I don't really know how it's gonna show up. Um, but it was a shirt that's just gonna go in the trash or wear around the house anyway, so I feel like I have a little bit of leeway to play around a little bit. But with Chalk Couture, we've got the ink, and those are the white caps. This is what we wanna use to make them semi-permanent. Or you have the Chalkology paste with the black cap. That's what I use for the wood surfaces for um, any of my reusable chalkboard surfaces. So I've got my different colors I'm gonna use. I've got different size squeegees that I'm gonna use. Paper towel, because I'm always messy. My transfers, I have, Chalk Couture has an ink mat, and I just took it and cut it because it wasn't gonna fit inside the shirt. So they have different size ink mats. I'll show you why you would want an ink mat or something similar to this as you're using it. So to get started, I'm gonna peel off the little protective layer on my ink mat. And this is just a super sticky, hard, I don't know, surface. I'm gonna put it in between the top and the bottom layers of the shirt. It's gonna do a couple things. It's gonna protect the bottom layer from the ink seeping through, but it's also going to do a real good job of holding the shirt in place. And this shirt I didn't iron before, and most of the time, like if I do pillows or something, I will iron it to make sure I just have a nice surface. But, again, I'm not too worried about it because I'll show you, once I get this kind of aligned, with this sticky ink mat, it is going to help me smooth out all the wrinkles on the shirt. So then I have a nice flat surface and it's going to keep the fabric from moving around underneath my transfer once I get that on. There. So I've got my ink mat in between my top and bottom layers. And now I'm going to start placing my transfer. So normally with ink if you're using a brand new transfer, you know how you always hear me say, you take off the transfer and we fuzz it on our fuzzing cloth? With the ink, you don't have to fuzz. Um, because I'm using it on fabric, I want it to stick as best as possible. Um, and it won't get stuck when I try to peel it off and take my transfer off, so. 
this was the transfer from yesterday. It just, I let it out to air dry and I put it back on my backer sheet. Now, I guess I would kind of center it. I think that looks all right. Okay, let me use my handled squeegee just to go through and make sure I don't have any air bubbles. With the ink too, you don't have to work as quickly because it doesn't dry as quickly like the Chalkology paste. I'm going to do the big happy Valentine's Day. I have the little hearts too that I'll probably put around in different colors. I think I'm going to do happy Valentine's Day. Do I want to use the red or the fawn? I don't know. I'm gonna go red. I'm gonna go bold. I like red. So the big chest centerpiece is gonna be red. And squeegee it on. Make sure all my areas are covered. Looking good so far. With the ink, you're gonna do the same thing with your transfer. So once I have all the areas covered, squeegee off the excess. I'll do my peel and reveal. And then my transfer is reusable. Hey, Annette. I'm making a Valentine's shirt for Sophia. All right. First part's done. I forgot my pan of water, so I'm just going to set that sticky side up. Can you guys see it so far? Isn't that cute? Now I'll add the little accent hearts. Make it all flat again. And then when Sophia comes home from school, I'll have her try it on and model it. Hopefully she likes it. All right, now I think I'm just going to add little accent hearts everywhere. Or maybe just towards the bottom. Maybe I'll leave those three for right now. All right, so I'm gonna make sure that they're on there real well. Mm 
and a little bit goes a long way, so I don't need much. Here's B mine. Alright, come on up. That is so cute. here for my XOXO that one really did not take much and then the love me we'll try that with I see a spot that I missed. You can see through the transfer and I can see this little edge I missed. There we go. Super easy to go back and fix. Even if I had peeled it off all the way, I could just put the transfer right back on top and fix it. Perfect. Oh, that's right. Is this the week, Jenny, that you start midnight? You should be sleeping. You are correct. All right. I'm, I have three little hearts. I might add more hearts later. I don't know. I'm going to see. What do you think of that so far? <laughs> Isn't that cute? <laughs> so now what I'm going to do is you let this dry completely. Um, I will probably leave it like this while I go pick up kids from school. And then once the ink is dry and it's not tacky anymore, um, I'll take, and I have some right here. You just take some parchment paper and you'll put it on top. You're, you wanna take this ink mat out. So you'll take the ink mat out, grab a piece of parchment paper, put it on top, and then you can use your iron. You can use an easy press if you've got an easy press. And um, with the layer of parchment paper on top, like that, you'll just iron it. Um, total, usually when I use my iron, I do it about two to three minutes total, but I'm kind of rotating the different areas. And you'll want to iron the front and then flip the whole shirt over and iron the back and then you can that is totally heat set you can put it in the washer and wash it and you have a brand new t-shirt that I am covering up all the ketchup and mustard stains from Sophia all right I will get a picture of Sophia after school wearing this and then I'll show you guys in the comments if you have any other requests like Lauren's request to see ink on a on a shirt. If you have any requests for projects and what you want to see, if you want to see I don't know, signs or I like the chalkboard stuff. I still got to get rid of all my Santa stuff. But if you have anything that you want to see, let me know and I'll try to recreate it. It could be a Pinterest fail, but I don't mind showing you how to do different things with our project uh, products. All right. Well, that didn't take See how simple that was and I still have time left over to kind of relax for a few minutes before I have to go get kiddos. Alright guys, we'll see you later.